Welcome back guys to the final beer review of the night. Uh, yeah, it's a strong one. I've got to be up early, so I'm going to be calling it a night after this one on the beer. Get myself a bit of food as well, because uh, I've got an early start in the morning. So not that you want to know that, so let's get on with the beer review. So what we've got coming up now is a French ale. Uh, I'm going to put it along, you know, like your Belgium ales, but it's a French one, if you like. So uh, I got this off Jimmy and Eileen. They bought it for me for my birthday. So thank you very much, Jimmy and Eileen. Much appreciated. They bought me six. So I've done the rest. This is the final one. And this is a bottle of La Goudal. And it's, a, a, you know, Belgium style ale, if you want, if you want me to go down that route. You know, it, it's one of them sort of beers anyway. Uh, 330ml bottle, coming in at 7.2%. Uh, I think this is about £1.80 in Morrison's, or four for six quid. So cheap enough. I do love the bottle. Look at the shape of that bottle. That is absolutely beautiful. Very different. They used to have this in Aldi's about five years ago. Uh, 750ml bottle for £2.50. So, yeah, coming in at 7.2%. Great bottle. Love the artwork, that is a real sort of traditional sort of Belgium, I would say Belgium sort of thing, but it's probably the same for France. We've got sort of like hops and wheat and that on the bottle cap. Looks real good. Leffy glass out, so let's get the beer out, see what we get. I always remember quite liking this and drinking quite a lot of it. Uh, that's, how can I put it? I don't want to sound like I know anything now, but I have a lot more beer experience now than when I first sort of started drinking this. So it'll be quite interesting to go back to this and uh, see what it's like. I, I definitely recall it being sort of like Belgium style ale, yeasty, sticky, you know, that sort of thing. So beer in a glass. Doesn't look any different, I don't believe, to how I remember. Uh, golden, if you like, in colour. Golden in colour. Quite a bit of carbonation going up. Uh, we've got just a half a finger of white head. If I, I can pause this video, yes. I've got a cat meowing to go out, so I may well pause it for a second. So yeah, looks exactly as I remember. I'm gonna pause the video now, just to be sure. Right, we're rolling again. That's the first time I paused it as well. I wasn't sure what was gonna happen. So as I said, La Goudal, 7.2% from Morrison's, blah, 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 blah. Looks, as I remember, sort of golden in color, plenty of carbonation, half a finger of white on top. So we'll dive in on the nose, see what we get. Oh yeah. I mean, I never do, used to do all this shit when I was just drinking, drinking this stuff. I'm getting a lovely sort of banana aroma on this. That's that's the main thing I'm picking up. Yeah, banana milkshake. A little bit yeasty. It's got that yeastiness of a Belgium ale, but nowhere near as sort of in your face sort of yeasty. Sweet, sticky. Oh, just big banana. Big banana, that's... That's it, sweet, sticky, slight yeastiness, big banana. And that's about it, but it smells absolutely delicious. So uh, let's dive in, see what we get. Cheers. Yeah, that is good. Uh, does change, does change. Let's go in again. Quite light in body, really, I would say. For a 7.2% 7 ale, and the sort of style it is, it is quite light in bo body. Carbonation's gentle, really smooth to drink. Uh, as you'd sort of expect, really. You wouldn't expect it to be too rough, but... Hmm. Typical in Belgium style. Flavour-wise, the biggest thing is, for me, the intake, banana. Just a big banana-y taste. And it's beautiful. That tails off. 
and then you sort of get that yeasty sweet stickiness my lips are sticky now from drinking this that sweet yeasty stickiness and that that bitterness that, that you get from like the Belgium ales Yeah, that, it's just all banana on the front end. That tails off. And it is very sticky. Very sticky. Bitterness. Yeah, it... it, it to, you sort of expect these beers to be complex. But this isn't really. It's very simple. Repeat myself again. Big banana on the intake initially. Then you sort of get that sticky sweetness, yeastiness that goes into a bitterness, and that's it. There's nothing overly complex about it. Everything is sort of set out in this beer. You taste it as it is. Nothing changes, nothing new pops up. That's how it is. Uh, is it as good as I remember? I'll tell you what, yeah. It's actually nicer than I remember because I don't think I ever sort of like took it apart and tried to sort of pick things up in it. It was, it was just a beer at the time, I suppose, but just a decent beer. I remember it always being a decent beer. But yeah, I actually, I, I'm actually probably more impressed with that now than I was at the time. So for me, La Goudal holds up the test of time for me over like, say, five years ago. Excuse me, £1.50 if you get it as a four for six. Morrison's 7.2% is it worth it of course it is uh, so yeah thumbs up from me I'm rambling on now if you've had this before let me know what you think feel free to comment thank you all for watching feel free to subscribe as well I do apologize if I bored your shit list uh, I might get a couple out tomorrow night if not maybe Sunday but uh, I'll be back with some more at some point enjoy your weekend and uh, I'll see you again soon on another beer review Cheers.